Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about a room pressure test, okay? So what are we going to focus on when we think of pressure in a small room? It's always the low frequency. Energy below 100 cycles. So we want that energy not to be accumulating in one area and absent in another, if you wish, or too much in one area, a little bit in another area, and nothing in another area. We want balance. And treating modal pressure issues is all about trying to minimize the issues in the room to get a nice even balance of pressure distribution within the room. So we know about modes, we won't talk about those. We know about the pressure, the unwanted pressures those create, plus 10, plus 12, plus 14. Saw a uh, pressure the other day, plus 19. <laughs> wow, how do, you, how do you deal with that one? So it's all about balance. And it's balanced in the total room. So here's a little test that you can do that we always uh, do for people. And it opens their eyes to what's going on in terms of pressure. Sit in your listening position and take a reading, just a pressure reading. You know, you can use just a standard decibel meter, they call it, pressure measuring meter, uh, dB meter, whatever the term is. You can get them at the app store like a dollar to download one. So just sit and listen to your favorite music. Okay, and maybe you're going to get a reading of 85 dB SPL. Okay, all right, so let's take that number. Then let's move to the front wall where our speakers are. Go behind our speakers and let's take the same reading. We should have a number about the same as this, 84, 86, maybe a dB difference on both sides of this at the listening position. You won't find that in most rooms. What you'll find is 85 dB SPL at the listening position. You might find 90 to 95 behind the speakers because you haven't treated that area for low frequency management. So you want to have balance in your room. You don't want to have one part of your room full of unwanted low frequency pressure and another one that has none. So especially at the listening position. And you have to remember, let's see, we can get rid of this. You have to remember that low frequency energy oscillates throughout the room. So if you're sitting here or you're sitting here, that's an unbalanced situation. So with room treatment, we try to do that. Also with room size and volume, we try to minimize these gaps. So they're smaller and closer together. So that's the goal here, always to have a balance and equal distribution of pressure throughout the room. So try this little exercise. I think it'll open your eyes. Try it at the rear of the room, but always use the listening position pressure level as your reference. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.